here at Ikea. Step! I think I wanted to get a grocery cart and I missed the grocery cart area. Yeah, let's go back down. Okay, what I am looking for today is um, we are looking for new couches. So I'm gonna check out their living room spaces, check out their couches and things like that for our new place in Utah. And then also I am looking for some room decor and bed spread bedding ideas for the kids' rooms. Um, because they will now be sharing a room and have some, I don't know, trying to be cute and, and have some matching bedding or something like that. So yeah, it's gonna be fun guys. I love coming to Ikea, even just because it's a nice, cool space in the middle of the summer. I love it here. I love these pillows. I forgot how impossible it is to drive the carts here. It's like, they're like on every, every single foot is a swivel foot. Okay guys, come on. Oh my gosh guys, I had to freaking like ditch that cart. I was gonna do some more fun like shots with it, but no, I could not handle it. It was driving me insane. So now we're in the children's area, which is what Porter has been wanting this whole time. Let's see what's in here. Let's see this bedroom right here. This baby stuff. We're gonna play the big kid room. Okay. Okay, guys. This trip did not turn out like I wanted it to. It was just a little stressful. Those carts were driving me crazy. Maybe it's just like my hormones, but I was ticked. This is kind of what this is kind of what we were excited for the whole time is eating some IKEA pizza. So good. I love IKEA pizza. And IKEA food in general. Okay, Porter, what do we got there? We have a cinnamon roll. That's right, and what are you eating for lunch? I'm eating hot dog. Hot dog, yeah. Hot dog, yeah. So gonna... And Piper has a pizza. You can see there's a little tear on her cheek. She really wanted to eat the cinnamon roll first. But you know how that goes. Okay, so we're back from Ikea. And I'll show you what I got. I, I got a Till Corp. So I got a Till Corp. And I know you all know what that is, so I'm not even gonna explain it. Okay, I'll show you what a Till Corp is since nobody knows what a Till Corp is. I need to go outside for that. Stupid scissors. All right. So yeah, it's just a super comfy um, comforter, twin size comforter. It says it's a cooler. I don't even know how blankets can cool people off. Anyway, so I got two of these for the kids. They are, it was $15 each, 15 something. So now I have two of these, and I am moving I forward want, with I my plans for the kids' I want, bedroom. I want that one. So packing update, there is like less than two weeks before we move, and I've already packed up quite a few things. Not quite a few things. It seems like quite a few things, but I'm sure it's not. Oh, do you need to go potty? Okay. Can I do it? No, it's dead. My boo boo. You did it. Wish. See, I did it. I did it. Boo boo. Wish. Are you all done? Yeah. You wish, sure? Wish. Wish. Yep, now you get a flush. Good job. So as far as an update on packing goes, I did a couple, a, a, I've done a couple boxes. <laughs> I've done a couple boxes. I've done books and some kitchen stuff, some baby bottle stuff, like some old baby stuff. Um, some of the extra bed linens that we had laying around. But I'm actually kind of proud of ourselves because I feel like as I've been looking around at what we need to pack, there's not a lot of stuff that I'm like, I'm just gonna throw that away because I never use it. I feel like everything we have, either we love or we use, which is kind of what we like to, um, kind of the lifestyle we want to definitely have. Um, as far as a potty training update goes with Piper, 
and let me button it back up. Piper's doing really well. It's hard for me because I'm not feeling good all the time. Like every time she wants to rush off to the toilet. <laughs> every time she wants to rush off to the toilet, I'm not feeling so good. So sometimes I'm just like, just go in your diaper, please. Which is probably terrible. But a lot of people say that during like a big change, like a big move, for instance, potty training might not be the best because they'll revert back to like their old ways afterwards. So I don't know. She's doing really good though. She always tells me when she wants to go. I feel like if I if I would push her to really potty train, that she would be good. But I'm just like, ugh, it's too hot outside. That's my excuse for everything nowadays. Ooh, good one. You're getting good. Did you see that? I almost kind of have a food baby to go along with my real baby. Are you just pregnant? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>